Yep, we did have one crack. This is a standard. However, if you notice from the design, this thing's almost five years old. YouTube, what's going on? If you're new here, my name is Roger. I own a company called QBO Tactical where we make holsters and gear and also film content for this channel. Today, we got a lot going on. First thing I wanna show you guys, one of very few things we get, which is a warranted return. As you guys can see right here, this is an old design where we used to not have rubber spacers between the angled belt loops and the holster. And after about four to five years of actual everyday duty use, uh, this was for a former officer who's doing private security work now. Uh, this was his daily carry. It finally cracked there. Super simple, took some photos, sent us an email, got a new one shipped out to him the next day, all taken care of through our lifetime warranty for fitment and function. So that's handled, but yes, Kydex, plastic, normal wear and tear. I'm happy to say that this held up for that many years and luckily we are able to get in touch with him and get him a new one. But moving on, Friday, Dez is here. Hello. We got lots of cool stuff. Des went to Costco for me. I am one of those weirdos who drinks LaCroix. However, these might have exploded. I don't know what happened. They're getting sent back. Olight PL Pro. I know a lot of you guys have been asking about this light. Unfortunately, we'll go over it in a little bit. It does not fit our holsters made for the PL2 Valkyrie. This little piece here. Man, that thing really uh, magnetizes on it. That's good. That little lip right there actually causes stress in the holster and I will show you what I'm talking about a little later. I'm actually getting ready to head to the gym. We just finished up with lunch. Then I'm gonna come back here, clean up, and head to our favorite spot, Venture Munitions, because something new came in today. You guys will probably remember from a while back when I was talking about first world problems on which gun to get. Well, one of them came in because I just said screw it and got both of them. Because we did sell those DEF CON vans and we actually ended up scoring like 925 bucks for them. Put all that towards these builds so that way we can bring more content. Um, yeah, well, let's just get to it. Want to give a big, huge shout out to Dwayne Gaston, you crazy, crazy man. This guy, look at this. This is the best Friday ever. Thank you, sir. This is awesome. A little Glenn Levitt. I will be having some of that tonight. Des, what did you get, Des? These are so cute. Like, I can put them in my pocket. Your Peach husband's Moscato. gonna, Chris is gonna drink all those before you get a chance. And he didn't even forget about Gabe either, but actually, cotton candy. That's, Des is gonna try to steal those, but Gabe will take one. Yeah. Dwayne, you are the man, dude. I can't say thank you enough. Um, doing little things like this definitely make our day. We much appreciate it, thank you. I wanna get you guys a quick little four or five minute review video on the Spider Codelica, but this one has been tricked out with stuff from Wiseman Company. Our buddy Ben sent this stuff over, John put it together with this, I think it's called a spinet and the uh, aluminum grips. Definitely a sweet setup to have if you're running any Spider Co knives. But yeah, dedicated video will come on that later. Oh, but check this out. They're portable. Stupid. <laughs> Stupid. Here is a little hint on what we are going to pick up. So we're here now. Forgive me for the audio. I forgot my GoPro, so on the iPhone. What's up, um, man? Yeah, I'm doing the most important thing. Try for us. If you guys come to Ventura and you want like significant discounts, bring, <laughs> bring Strike Force prepared. Use uh, use code Talentside. Talentside. <laughs> Came in for me today, Mikey. Uh, so far, just the Bushmaster ACR pistol. Yeah, man. So far. So yeah, Bushmaster ACR, it's here. Filing the paperwork, Tim. Why did that thing come in such a big case? That's <laughs> what they had, I guess. It came in that big ass case, I don't know why. We'll be e-filing this today along with the PSA AKV so we can do a uh, return video to that and show you guys some stuff we're gonna be changing on that. All right, back home now, just finished up in the shop. Everybody took off for the weekend. But man, check this thing out. I just got done filing my e-file on the ATF website so that I can attach this guy. This little plate comes out with these two pins. This pops in and then you have your nice ACR SBR. 
How many of you out there played Call of Duty and ran this gun in that game? I'm super stoked on it. I cannot wait to get that e-file in. I also got the AAC 5.56 SD suppressor. It was on sale for like 368 bucks, so I got that coming as well. The new version of the ACR comes with AAC's handguard, which is in their own version of key mod. Uh, it also comes with their muzzle device. So since their suppressor was on sale, I figured why not get the whole thing done. I think Ventura should also get one and then use their SOT and make it full auto. I think that would be awesome. Anyway, it's Friday. Uh, finishing up all that stuff. I also did my e-file for another gun that we will revisit like I talked about. I got this thing in finally for my old school duty gun, my 1911. Um, it's a Safari Line ALS holster. Not sure how I'm digging this little cutout here. I'll play with it, I might have to get that little nub, but yeah, stoked to have this. I'll get this guy out on the range and probably make a video and show you guys the gun that I used to run on patrol. Anyway, I will see you guys Monday. All right, so it's Monday now, here in the shop, just getting the day started. Got a lot of cool stuff to show you guys. Sorry there hasn't been any review type content. Uh, I haven't had any time to get out to the range and get some stuff uh, filmed. However, I do have some new cool toys. Like you saw, we just picked up the ACR. Today we're gonna go pick up something else from Venture Ammunition, so we'll definitely get that on this video. And then I wanna show you something that came in that I've been waiting for to finish this build. All right, so you guys might remember this, my 300 Blackout build I just finished. We'll check this out. One of the last components to this build finally came in, the Cloud Defensive Owl. I got mine in urban gray. Um, definitely impressed with the light. I know it's pricey, but you guys interested in weapon lights, um, definitely look into it because there's a lot more that goes behind this than just your average weapon light. Um, I will say this though, um, if you do order one of the ones that are Cerakoted, uh, just know it could take a while. This took almost three months to get to my door. Um, which isn't really a big deal to me as long as I'm given a heads up. Um, there was no warning about the lead time or anything like that, and I just wish that would have been there. I reached out to them, um, I think on the third time, they finally put me in touch with somebody that could get me some answers, and it still took a minute to get. But it's finally here, the build is complete, the suppressor will be here. Um, my buddy over at Roan Industries is making a custom wolf gray sling with um, FDE or bronze hardware to go with this whole setup and then we will get a dedicated video suppressed and everything for you guys Also, I want to show you this So John came over this weekend and we put this bad boy in All of the stuff that goes behind this fabric I never really get to so we're gonna take everything that I want from in there Put it up there and then get rid of this whole shelving unit throw that out move this back the Harley was here, it'll come back in, but now there'll be a little more room. I get a lot of questions about if I want to expand or grow the operation. Uh, I mean, overall goal, yes, of course. However, the overhead isn't worth it right now to leave the garage shop and go to, say, a warehouse that we could rent here or build on a different property. Um, John still works a nine to five job, he only works here at, at night, so when it gets to a point where he's retired, which should be next year, then we can look at those things and start bringing on more people. The other thing for me, um, running my own company, there are things I like to do differently, one of which is how we hire people. I don't bring anybody on staff that we don't personally know. Um, I know for some people, they don't like to mix their friends and business, however, I'm the complete opposite. You guys know, Des here is one of my best friends. She has to put up with me every day. Yeah. And then when her husband wants to hang out with me, she has to put up with me after work. Yeah. But it works better that way because I feel that all my friends know what our end goal is and how passionate we are about doing this. So it's more of a team thing rather than just working for a company. Everybody on staff understands that there's little odd jobs here and there that we all need to get done. Um, for some, when they first come on we're working with us, I think it's weird that I'm walking around with the camera and talking to you guys until they watch the videos, see all the content. Um, see how you guys engage with us and then they're like, oh man, I get it. Um, so Try to do something different um, I was Watching a movie yesterday and I heard a good quote. It said uh, Ralph Waldo Emerson said that imitation is suicide uh, and the person was talking about how Do your own thing. Don't just copy what other people are doing. Um, I want to make QBO a different type of business model um, and don't get me wrong I've taken influence from Gary V and Casey Neistat, Talon, a uh, bunch of people that I find their content enjoyable. However, I want ours to be a mix of 
the things that we do here in the shop, the personalities in the company that we run, on top of that, reviewing the gear and the stuff that I like. Um, down the road, we'll get into other stuff, like not just gun stuff. There's plenty of other gear, like my tech gear stuff. Um, there's other cool gadgets that I get, camera stuff. I do get a lot of questions from you guys about how we film the content that we film. So I definitely want to have areas of this channel where we explore those. Anyway, I'm gonna get back to the shop. I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, we're in the Ventura warehouse. Mikey got something in for me. What'd you get, dude? Is it in this case? Yeah, no, just, I really like this case. Dude, it's actually, really, it's actually pretty nice. I've never seen a case like it before. Go for it. Yeah. Oh, shit. This is the Robinson Armament XCR. Pistol. Pistol. Yes, videos are going to come on this. I've been waiting for this. We're going to change this out to a BCM Mod 3. And I'm going to put some Surefire stuff on here and probably a surefire break on here. Josie gonna help me out with that right now, right? <laughs> what? Just, just say yes. Maybe. <laughs> this will be a whole new gun in just one minute. Boom. All done now. Changed out the grip. Got a BCM Mod 3 on there. Some rail scales. Their carved hand stop. Surefire uh, close tie and work comp. Surefire Mini Scout with their pressure pad, SR07. I'll go home, mount up that EOTech right here. Throw on my SOCOM RC2 suppressor. And this thing will be ready for a video. Thanks, Josie. No problem, anytime. Well, now that it's built, what do we have to do? Got test fire. Are you gonna be the guinea pig? Yeah. Alright. Am I should I be worried? <laughs> I don't think so. Josie built it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. So you're behind the camera? Yeah. Okay. You're shooting. I'm behind the gun. Yeah. Where's Josie gonna be behind the blast? <laughs> <laughs> And we're back home now. As you guys can see, I've wasted no time getting some photos. Check these out. All right guys, so that's it for today's vlog. Uh, a few of you requested that these come back, so I figured let's throw one in today's vlog, so here you go. Quick shout out to... Travis Courier. This one is a wingman. It is the Ranger Green over Coyote Brown for the CZP 10C. Awesome. Travis, awesome color combo. Thank you for the support, brother man. Uh, guys, that's it for today's video. As always, appreciate you hanging out with me. If you liked it, give us a thumbs up down below. If you are new here, consider subscribing as we post several videos throughout the week, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, we are in the Ventura, what, uh, what is it, warehouse right now? Yeah. <laughs> Anybody need some 308? Oh my god. <laughs>